Hi there and welcome to this origami design tutorial where we'll be talking about hotspots. Hotspot is an object that gets placed on the screen that can make triggers fire either on tap or when it enters or exits the screen. A hotspot lays itself on the stage like this. The color is only for you to see, see where it's at. It will not show up on the screen when you export it. You can set it to whatever size you want to, depending on what you're going to do with it. Up here in the inspector, you have a couple of different ways to fire your trigger from a hotspot. On tap means that when your finger touches the screen and leaves the screen, it'll fire. On tap start means that as soon as your finger touches the hotspot, it'll fire. On tap, tap end means that when you put your finger on it and let go, uh, it'll fire. Uh, it sounds a little bit similar to on tap, but you can keep your finger down for longer on on tap end. On start and end means that as soon as your finger touches the hotspot, it'll fire, and when you let go, it'll fire. Also, if you're using this on a formation, you can um, choose on start and end to be able to play through the formation as soon as you're keeping your finger on the hotspot. On screen enter means that as soon as it enters the page, it'll fire, and on screen exit means that when it leaves the page, it'll fire. Um, I'm going to choose on screen enter here. On screen enter means that as long as this hotspot is on the page, it'll fire. It can be as little as this, it'll still fire. If it's like this, it will not fire now, it's not on the screen. So I'm going to put my hotspot here. And I'm going to go to assets and drag this image onto the stage. So just put that up in the corner nice and tidy. As you can see here in my layer palette panel, the image is now on top of my hotspot. The hotspot is there, it's under. So now it is technically off screen. It will not fire because it's underneath the image. So I need to take my hotspot and drag it on top of it. Now it'll fire. I'm going to go back into the image and add this other image to it. So now I have two images in my image object. Go back to my hotspot and edit it. It's still an on-screen enter, that's what I want. I'll go to image one and next image. I also want to put a little bit of delay on this. So I'll set that to two seconds. So what we made now is an on-screen enter trigger that will make this image go from the first image to the second image after two seconds. So let's go and see how that looks on the iPad. Here is the project. I tap on it and open it. You see this image and after two seconds it fires and goes to the other image. I suggest that you just play around with the various hotspots and try out uh, all of these various functions so you get a feel for them so that you can um, apply them to your projects later.